From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports Eye on the Band for Saturday, February 10th. I'm Mike Ludlum. Weather conditions were outstanding for day one of Continental Cup ski jumping at Giant Pine Mountain. 41 jumpers took on the challenge of the large hill. We will show you the bottom view and then we'll show you not quite the top view, but just off the jump. Best jump of the day came very early. Bib 19, Pius Paschke of Germany. His first round jump ended up 464 feet. The hill record is 472 feet, but he fell back to sixth place. Bib number seven, Jakob Wolny of Poland had the best jump of the second round. 452 feet, little wobble on the landing, cost him a point or two in the style department, but he finished the day second place, 277.7 points. To bib number 39, Marius Lindvik of Norway. He's just 19 years old and he could be a future star. He hit this one at 90 kilometers per hour, 55 miles per hour for the non metrically inclined. 435 feet on this jump, a little more than 440 feet on his first jump, and he won the event with 291 and a half points. Here's a look at your top six. Number one is Halver Egner. Grenerud of Norway, he finished in third place. Day two is Sunday. The main event starts at one o'clock central to Eastern time, but there will be a trial round before that. And let's face it, you wanna get there early for a good tailgating spot. The Michigan Tech hockey team had some trouble Friday night in its winter carnival opener against Bemidji State. They lost four to two. They made some lineup changes for Saturday's game. Would they be enough? Pick this one up in the first period. Houghton native Raymond Bryce will steal the puck, put it on net, and Mason Blacklock with a great deflection gets his first of the year at 525. It was 1-1 after one to the second. On the power play, Joel Esperance will get the puck, send it toward the net, and the captain, Brent Baltus, puts it home. He's missed three weeks with an injury, so he was happy to be back on the ice. Tech leads 2-1. Mark Auk would make it 3-1. And then with some help from Auk and Joel Lesperance, Gavin Gould makes it 4-1 after two periods. Then Hancock native Devin Carroll took over. 19 saves alone in the third period, a total of 36. Michigan Tech goes on to win 5-1. They rebound to win the total goal series 7-5. And Hancock native Devin Carroll turned out to be your winner carnival most valuable player. They did a tremendous job. They competed hard tonight. They played with a lot of pride, a lot of courage. Um, from, from the goaltender, I know that Devin was absolutely tremendous. We knew they were going to push back in the third. Um, they didn't really have anything to lose, so they were going to try to um, look for some breaks and things like that and fire everything on net. Um, but our guys battled, blocked shots, kept everything the outside, made my job pretty easy, so that was nice. Say hi to Winter Carnival Queen Cora Taylor. The Huskies host Arizona State non-conference action next weekend. Tech still trails Bemidji by two points for the final home ice berth in the first round of the WCHA playoffs. To the Barry Event Center, NMU, Alaska. Nanook's not happy they lost Friday's game in overtime. They turn the puck over and the Cats now will reverse skate. Adam Rockwood, Denver Pierce. Back to Rockwood and back to Pierce. Flicks it in. So Friday night's game winner has the first goal of Saturday's contest. one nothing Cats. And the Nanooks were not happy and they took out their frustration in front of the Wildcat bench. Second period, a little slow motion for Adam Rockwood. First one, no. Gets the second one in. And the Wildcats are in front. To the third period, Joseph Nardi will play... Hockey's version of catch with Darian Craighead, and the next thing you know, that one's in the net. NMU gets the sweep, taking this one by the count of 4-1. to one. On the scoreboard, Minnesota State uh, decided not to let anything get in the way. Alabama-Huntsville only scored one goal. Mavericks had six, but uh, for the Chargers goal, Escanaba's Levi Wonder picked up one of the assists. Late Friday night, Lake Superior State edged Alaska Anchorage 4-2 in overtime. Also in college hockey, rough endings for Finlandia's hockey season. The men lost 6-0 to St. Norbert, and the women dropped a 5-0 uh, score to Adrian. 
Also in high school hockey, the Chelsea Showcase in the Lower Peninsula. Marquette and Davison couldn't score at all, so that was a 0-0 tie. Hudsonville defeated Escanaba 3-2. And back in the UP, it was Kingsford taking care of Ashland by the score of 8-0. Girls High School Basketball. Ishpeming hosting Nagani. Pick it up in the third. Katie Lohman to Madigan Johns. That's a three-pointer. Next for the Maize and Blue, Natalie Bartle. Puts her head down, drives to the basket as she's been known to do and gets that one in. Back the other way, Mariah Bertusi to Mariah Austin. This one is good for two. And the Miners would respond again. Natalie Bartle to Clara Johnson. Finds a path right to the basket, lays it up and lays it in. And the next thing you know, the Miners are trying to make a little bit of a margin here. Johnson going with the left hand. The Michigan Tech recruit puts that one off the window. Ishpeming not done though. Chloe Showholm to Madison Pruitt. Back to Showholm. And back inside to Madigan Johns for the basket. But Nagani would win by seven for the second night in a row. In this case, it was 55 48 for the girls, 57 50 for the boys. On the scoreboard, a couple of girls' games. St. Ignace defeated Goodrich 87 56. Emily Covey, had 36 points and 12 rebounds. Lenny Gustafson, 22 points and 9 boards for the Saints. Aubrey Simmons, 32 points, 25 rebounds. Angadang gets past Newberry 61 52. Gliak basketball, six players in double figures for the Tech women in an 86 81 victory over Northwood. Four players in double figures for the men. Isaac Appleby's late three-pointer was the key basket as Tech only led for about three minutes and change, beat Northwood 75-70. For NMU, the Wildcat women won 67-62 over Saginaw Valley State. Houghton Sidney Dillinger had a career-high 11 points and a career-high six assists. For the Cardinals, Bark River Harris's Katie Schultz had 10 points. Uh, the men's contest, the less we say, the better, losing 92-66. Meanwhile, Lake Superior State women, ugh, not quite, 53-52. Newberry's Taylor Bryant had 10 points and 4 rebounds off the bench for the Lakers. In the men's game, Malik Adams came off the bench, and the Grand Lodge grad had 28 points and 6 rebounds as Lake State held off Tiffin 80-76. Also in college basketball, Silver Lake runs past Finlandia 79-47. The men won by two over the Lakers, 71-69. Escanaba's Brandon Robinette had 23 points and 13 rebounds. Kingsford's Jeff Smart poured in 20. In community college basketball, Bay College defeated Fox Valley 92-86. Kobe Barnes, 34 points and 11 rebounds. Golgibbic lost to Dakota County Tech 85-67. Trevor Cook and Garfield Volker combined for 41. And in Big Ten basketball, the Spartans used a basket for Miles Bridges with 2.7 seconds to go. And number four, Michigan State edge number three, Purdue, 68-65.